Happy fun. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You could see anything the way you were whipping around out there. It's a party. We were just having a good time. It's all for a worthy cause, right? Get real, Reva. You hurt my father terribly. And I would have thought you'd had enough by now. Could you use the men's room, please? Sure. No one's coming in here until I tell you just what I think of you. I've only been here 24 hours, and already your name is all I hear. Can I help it if I'm popular? That's a nice name for it. I really figured you would have changed, Reba. Well, I guess some things never do. Like you. Haunting the men who've loved you, making it impossible for them to get on with their lives. You know, Harley, you obviously don't care. But these last few years have been hell for me. Being dead isn't exactly as relaxing as it sounds. Yes, you're right. I don't care. Well, you used to. For heaven's sakes, Harley, you took care of my babies when I got sick. And after I drove off that bridge? That's not the point here. The point is you hurt my father. Well, I didn't mean to. No, you never do. And when will you stop? How much is my father supposed to take? You can't just hurt somebody in my family and expect me to sit there and let you do it. And you are not going to continue hurting my father the way you were doing out there. That has on nothing that show. to do with Buzz. This is a party. I was trying to have a good time. Come on, Reva. Everybody knew you were doing it to get to Josh. Ah, there it is. There it is. This little tantrum has nothing to do with your father at all, does it? You're wrong. No, I'm not. This is about the three of us. You, me, and Josh. I think she went to the powder room. I'm going to get my wife a glass of water, okay? Excuse me. Hey, you okay? You sure? I'm fine. I've seen a little bit. Phillips here. What, the, what is this about? Uh, We've got to put our heads together. You know what? I'm with Groucho Marx. I don't want to be a member of any club that would have me as a member. Oh, you don't think you can get away with it that easily, do you? I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Thirsty's right, you know. If we're going up against Amanda and Roger, we've got to stick together. That means we need each and every one of us. Look, Alex, we've been down this road many times before, and I am not up for going to war again. No one likes war. But that's what this is, and we're not running away from it, Alan Michael. Or wheeling away, as the case may be. Or wheeling away, Philip. Amanda and Roger <clears throat> may be advancing toward the front line. They left here a while ago. Oh, well, maybe they just needed a breath of fresh air or some time alone. Hey, you don't know that. They could be making out in the billiard room. Oh, in that case, I don't know which one I feel sorrier for. The point is, I don't think anyone here believes they're marrying for love. <laughs> well, you would certainly know a lot about that, then. Personally, I do think they're crazy about each other. Well, Lucy, of course, you're entitled to your opinion, but could we scoot this thing along? I really need to talk to Matt Reardon about the dedication for Vanessa. All right, I'll make this brief. Amanda and Roger's absence gives us a chance to make our plans. Now, they have to be monitored 24 hours a day. Alan Michael, I want you to call in the best security Spalding has to offer and have Roger watch 24 hours a day. Do you understand? Philip, call your contact at Intelligence and find out Roger's connection with the agency. Alex, I want you to join with Alan Michael. I want you to be in surveillance. I want you to bug Amanda's room. Oh, wait a minute. You want Alan Michael to spy on his sister? Lucy, we cannot be too careful. 
You've got to watch your back. It's falling. Just in case Amanda and Roger try to sabotage the company. Now, the only way we're going to keep them from taking advantage of us is by joining forces. Well, I'm glad we all see that this is the wisest approach. You know what, Father? Actually, I'd rather dig ditches. Lucy, we're not in this. 